The secret behind a great Eggs Benedict is in the hollandaise. So, get your pan on, because I'm going to cook our hollandaise over a rolling boil with a glass bowl. Butter, just put it on to melt. Three egg yolks, separated from the white. Tarragon vinegar, pop that into the eggs. If you can't get tarragon vinegar, any white wine vinegar will do. Just as long as you've got that acidity in there, give some bite to the hollandaise. Put your bowl over the rolling water and just start whisking. If the eggs had direct contact with the gas, hollandaise will become scrambled egg. Once you've got that nice creamy texture, a nice thick sabillon, start adding your butter. Nice and slowly. A couple of tablespoons of butter in and give that a really nice mix. If you don't whisk it enough, the egg yolks don't take the butter. It causes it to split more butter. Using a big balloon whisk like this one makes it easier to incorporate air and helps prevent your mixture from separating. All the butter in. And the best way to keep hollandaise nice and warm is just leave it to sit over that nice warm water bath. And it just keeps at a really nice room temperature. A nice pinch of salt, fresh pepper, and then fresh lemon juice. That just really makes it vibrant, exciting. I you want it like a sort of thick custard. I just want it to coat the back of the spoon so it's like you're giving the, a nice glossy texture to your beautiful poached egg. Now, as the base for the Eggs Benedict, you cannot beat English muffins. But the ham, I'm going to change. I'm going to use the most amazing Parma ham. Get your pan nice and hot into the pan. It's like posh rashes of bacon. Beautiful. Parma ham fried nice and crisp like that is incredible. Beautiful in salads, fantastic for Eggs Benedict. Now keep that pan nice and hot. I want all that flavour from the Parma ham left in there. And rather than toast my muffins, I want to put the muffins into the pan. I want them sucking up all that wonderful flavour from that crispy Parma ham. Make sure your muffins are toasted nicely. This will prevent them going soggy later. Look at that, nice and crisp. Now, water onto boil for the eggs. Nicely seasoned, it's really important. And then just a little splash of vinegar in the water. That helps us set the egg white in the minute. You crack it in. While the water heats up in the pan, there's time to get organised. Lay a nice slice of ham on the base. Now, water's brought up to the boil. Turn it down and then spin your water around. Like a little whirlpool. Then get a little cup. So. You just drop the cup in, and look what happens to the egg. Gets caught up in the turbulence of the water. The secret is not to boil the water rapidly, because the strength of the boil can literally explode your egg. As they start to move their way up to the top of the water, that's a indication that they're cooked. Take off any excess little bits of egg white, and then out onto a piece of tissue paper. That just drains off excess water. That stops your muffin from going really soggy. But look, they're like little, beautiful mozzarella balls. Give them a little season. Lift them onto your crispy parma ham. Beautiful. Now, get a nice spoon of your hollandaise. Glaze over. Try and do it in one, glazing over the whole egg. When I tell Jack, Holly and Megan and Matilda that we're cooking Eggs Benedict for breakfast, they bolt down the stairs. And let's be honest, who wouldn't run to sit in front of those? A special occasion breakfast that would make anyone feel spoiled. Eggs Benedict with crispy Parma ham. Beauties.